Welcome to this week's video on the PlayStation 2. Now this one could go either way, but we'll give it a shot. It's Noble Racing and a name that we haven't heard in quite a while, Midas, or it's probably actually pronounced Midas, a publisher that we have a history of on this channel and we shall see. This time with Noble Racing, can they actually prove me wrong and show that they actually did have some quality products under their name? <laughs> Place your bets now. And one little thing, this music, what the hell? Great, great music. It's almost a mix between, I feel like I'm in a Bond movie. Hmm. But no Aston Martins. Oh, the music's off again. Oh. And the one thing I want to start off with at the top of this video. This video game was released in March 2006. And around that time was when Lee Noble, the founder of the Noble car manufacturer, sold the company. So is it a coincidence or was it that Midas with their way with things just released this game and the car company was so ashamed that Lee Noble had to turn around and just sell it. Probably not, but let's find out. Is that bloody music? Hang on, options. Get that music down so it's not... Oh my god. Oh no, here we go already. Now, apparently this game was developed by... Oh, the I think it's this game just got one song. Okay, are the game starting already now? Apparently this game was produced by the Brain in a Jar. And I've, I don't think I've come across these before. I may have done once in the past. But so far, this is the options menu where I normally come after the intro to tweak the settings so, you know, get all the audio balanced. And this is what we have. I have controls. Okay, so no rebinding. What a surprise. Oh, this looks like a barrel of laughs. Okay, we don't... Yeah, okay, whatever. Back. Okay, what have we got in display? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh, it's looking like my conspiracy theory might be right. But great news, if you love this song, it looks like you're going to get a lot of it. One player menu. We have test drive, track challenge, car challenge and club event. Now, let's talk about one thing that many of you might have already thought of. Now, Noble isn't a car company that had many different cars. They didn't have many to choose from over their life. So when it comes to doing a video game solely based on those cars, isn't that just limiting what cars you have in a game? And you're probably correct. Um, yes. Yes, I don't know how much I paid for this, but if it was more than Ferrari Challenge or Lotus Challenge, I want a refund. Let's try. What's car challenge? Does it have different cars? Okay, so that one, I... C now, honestly, me personally, with Nobles, I'm, I've never really had a soft spot for them. I'm not... I don't hate them, but I don't really like them. I get them, but we'll get into the whole Noble argument. Well, fuck it, I'll just get into it now. <laughs> Noble's a weird one when it comes to British car manufacturers, because, for example, Aston Martin go for the premium side, the more luxury... Grand Tourers, and they have that market pretty well sealed. Rolls-Royce, who were originally, well, I know these companies were originally British, I know we'll ignore that bit for now. And Rolls-Royce were there for the extra premium that weren't for really Grand Tour, and they were for more to be driven around in than to drive yourself. And then you get onto stuff like McLaren, the modern day British success story. It's basically just technological showcase and being flat out performance vehicles, with some tolerance to being a road vehicle. And Morgan is the one that kind of stayed in the past, but still makes cars for some reason out of wood. I don't know why. People like it, apparently. But yet, yeah, Noble is one of those weird car companies that almost went the McLaren route, but never really made it. And it's kind of sad, because it was a cool company, but it never really got traction with mainstream audiences and just petrol heads. I don't know why. It's just one of those many failure stories. Is this music going to start again? Yep. <laughs> it's a great shame. I mean, it didn't even have... I'm surprised it didn't go the Lotus route. 
and actually make it like a grassroots racers sort of make of car. For example, Lotus love to make cars that people can just, for their first time racing, once you've got your racing license, go out there and start racing Lotus Catrums or Lotus Elises. And I would have thought Noble might have gone that route, but I don't think they ever really did. It's kind of a shame. And as far as actual Grand GT racing, I don't remember them ever competing. I don't. It was one of those could have done well car companies. I mean, it wasn't as mental as TVR. I'll give you that. Right, so, I'm sorry you've been looking at this menu for too long, but honestly, I can talk about cars for too long, because I do apologise. So we have, how many tracks according to the box? According to the box we have, blah, 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 12 two-stage gruelling circuits. So is that 12 circuits, do you just do them twice, I'm guessing? We have, oh god, it's locked already, so you literally only get one track. Okay. Look at the graphics on that, crikey PS2. It wasn't that bad in 2006, was it? I, I was alive then, I don't remember it being that bad. <laughs> so we have a couple of tra tracks, but we only have one that we can go for at the minute, so where is it? There it is. And the cars. The M12, GTO 3R. The M400, which did look very similar, which was also a problem that Noble had. And I need to turn my earphones down. And I'm, I'm going to turn it down in editing for you as well. This music, jeez. Jeez, 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 it's right in my ears and I can't turn it down. There's no sound options. I can't get over that. That's basic of the basic. Come on, Midas, Midas, bastards. M12 GTC, M14. Now, that's a crazy car. It was basically pure horsepower, no driver aids. It, it was a car that was probably most likely to kill you. That's probably why they didn't sell many of them. And when the car company was sold off, they ended up being sold in America by a different brand under a different name. It was the exact same car, the exact same blueprints, and they just sold it under a different brand in America. I remember it on an old Top Gear USA episode. But anyway, back on topic. Well, so we, we, didn't, we never left the topic. M400R. So that's just a race version. It'd be nice to have some stats to actually see what the difference is, but okay. Can we have some colours? Let's have a look. Oh, they actually give it the proper name. Is these the actual real... No. That, that, these aren't the real names that they actually called it, were they? Because we all know car companies have crazy names for their own colours sometimes. Or some are just dead boring. Oh, well, we'll go for a colour that's easy to see on camera. That's my priority. We'll go for classic red. And we'll go to the only track we can. Go. Oh, that's a great loading screen. It's like playing Pong. And we're in. I can't remember what the controls are. Sounds like Grand Turismo. Uh, okay, we got cameras. Nice. It's in auto. Nice. I need that because I can't be bothered looking at the controls. Okay, this feels. Uh... Do you know steering in video games are normally meant to be very um, linear? You know, like it's progressive. I think is the word I'm looking for. Oh my god, the brakes! Oh my god, what the fucking Jesus! Hang on, can I use this for accelerator? Yes, I can. All right. Let's try that again. The steering in this game is very wooden. I imagine this is what a Model T feels like. Oh, I think we've got a bit of a drift going. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm just going to cut that corner. Am I in first? I don't know. Now I'm in second. Where is it? It's all the way over there. How? How, you cheating son of a bitch? Oh, God, that's the handbrake. I found the handbrake. I found the handbrake. This is the problem when you don't pay attention to the button, uh, <laughs> button information screens. You end up pushing all the buttons, and then you end up pushing the wrong button. Right, what does this do? That's brakes. Circles look behind. My god, the steering is shit! Right, I've got a different camera, because that's just horrific. Right, that's a bit better. Oh my god, what, what, what have I gotten into? And there's no music, I've just noticed. There's no music. But the guy in first place is off, off and away. <sighs> so... It's 2018, so it's uh, only fair ooh, to give everything a, f a fresh look and a new set of eyes, you know, be fair. Midas, Midas have not done well in the past, but maybe they could have done better this time. Clearly not. Uh, yep, yeah. oh Jesus, oh fuck it. Well, let's fuck it, let's just try and drift. If this game's just, look at it, it's terrible. Look, it, you can just hold the steering. But yet, if I wobble, look at it, it's just... 
This is just tragic. Oh god, the brakes is... Let's have a look at the damage. I can't... I can't even... <laughs> I wanted to look at to see if there's any damage at the front of the car, so you look you go to look backwards and it it's just, does it does it do that with every camera? Yeah. So you can't even look at the front of your car right, so hang on, handbrake. Can I have a look at the front of my car please? That's This is not gonna be a long video. <laughs> so wait. Is there even an option for manual gears? Because when we're in the options menu, we didn't see any manual gears. <clears throat> it's been a long... Alright, so... This is the game then. Uh, what do you want me to say? <laughs> So that conspiracy theory at the start of the video, fuck me just... This is awful. I, this is this is PS1 levels of driving. I'm not even talking about the graphics here, just the way it drives. Oh my god, I don't feel connected to this piece of shit. Oh, f stop wiggling, you... Shake yourself. Watch yourself. I said shake yourself. Alright, are you done, car? Thank you. I forgot what I was even saying. Yeah, what, even when it comes down to the driving physics level, it feels like PS1. Oh my god. Why is there a wall just plonked there? Why? Why does it do that zoomy out when I change the... Oh, oh my god. Just, right, fuck it. Let's just drift. Drift. Can this game redeem itself by drifting? Apparently not. Uh, uh, kill me. Drift, you piece of shit. Drift. Let's do something else. <laughs> Quit. Yes. Yes, you don't have to ask me twice. When I say quit on this game, I'm... I mean, I'm yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so that conspiracy at the start of the video... Um, anyone agree with me now? Am I still a crazy nut job or was I correct? Was my gut feeling correct? Oh, yes, it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. Midas, Midas, whatever you call yourself. Bullshitus is what I'd probably like refer to you as. Uh, you had some games that were acceptable. I played one or two in this, this series that were actually passable and remotely enjoyable. This is pure freaking laziness. A pure. Let's just go. Hang on. I want to go back and we're going to see. Can we find manual gears, please? Controls. There are no gears. Oh no. Apparently they're there. Right. So how come I can't pick manual as an option? Right. Right then. Okay. I'm more confused than ever. Right, right, it's got buttons for gears. Has this game even got fucking gears? Let's find out. Player menu. We did test drive, weren't it? No, what, what did we do? We did car challenge. Let's try a track challenge, because if that's going to go any better. Please let me use a different car. Oh, is that the same? No, no, right, not that track. Anything but that. Test drive. I see, I'm seeing a problem here. I'm seeing a major problem. I'm see Oh, for... Please tell me. Oh, you fucking kid. You fucking kidding me. Alright, one second. <laughs> cheat codes. There better be fucking cheat codes. I am not driving that car around that track for free. Look, back, go back. For test drive, track challenge, car challenge, and club event, it's all the same fucking car on the same. I'm sorry, the audio's peak. <laughs> on the same fucking track. This is what you call lazy bullshit. Google. See, this is what I'm talking about, what people don't understand. Oh, it's easy making YouTube videos. You just hit record, play a video game and go, ha 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 ha. Fuck off. You come and play this terrible shit. Honestly. Fucking search. Fucking, what's the name of this bullshit game? Noble. 
Not Veeks. I hate smartphones. Cheats. Search you twat. This is what happens when I look up for cheat codes. First result is user ratings. 10 user ratings, 3.08 out of 5. It's rated as difficulty simple. The length is 12 hours. 12 hours. Completed by three unlucky bastards. And there are no cheats. No, is it, is it, no. No. Oh, I'm getting adverts for other games which I'm going to purchase for this series. And oh my god, I've just seen some games that we've already played in this series and I do not want to remember. Okay, so. That was a flop. So, no cheat codes. So we'll try one more time. And we will see. Let's try test drive. Because hopefully the objective is a bit easier. Let's go for a different car colour because why not? Oh. Okay, this, um, we'll go yellow. This is the only track we can do, only car we can use, and say goodbye to the music, because in the race, you don't get it. And when I was racing against the AI, it was 1v1. Just one AI car. Just one. Even the throttle's really not progressive at all. So I've got a beta lap time, which isn't going to happen, because... I really don't care about trying in this game, and I ain't going to be playing this again. So that's about that. Uh. Now Noble, Lee Noble, did you sell the car company because of this game? Oh, oh dear, oh dear, this is better. Let's just try and drift, we're not going to try and beat the time. Where's the gear? Oh, there it is. Right, hang on, oh, that was the thing I was meant to check, let's try the gears. Yes, that is me clicking the buttons, L2 and R2, the buttons it says. There are no gears. I have no options to turn on the gears. Either I'm missing something, or this game doesn't have gears. I'm fucking pushing the buttons. Is it these buttons? No, it's not those buttons. It Look, it's just... It's just Can I go off the track, please? I, I don't. I don't care about this. This game. Uh, I can't wait till my PC's up and running. <laughs> I really fucking can't wait. Uh, let's try and drift. Come on, a bit more. It's just bogging down in power. I've got my foot flat and it's just, well, my finger flat, whatever. Come on, you turd. Just... Uh, can I... Uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was Noble Racing. A train wreck of a video game. No manual gears, even though it says it has them. Practically the same track and the same car for every fucking option. And uh, I've lost the will. I've lost his. Blah, blah, blah. 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 I'll see you in the next week's video. For now, goodbye.